All right, guys, so a new jailbreak update just came out, and I'm going to go over everything in this video. Full update, guys. So in the March update, we've got new items, new skins. We've got the Sniper, the Revolver, the Plasma, the new Bugatti Chiron with interior and weapon skins, all right? We're going to go through all of that. Now, I imagine most of you guys are probably here wondering where you can get the new Bugatti, how does it work? Obviously, this is the old Bugatti here, and how you get the new weapons. I'm going to go over that in a little bit. First, I'm going to show you guys the new Bugatti. So obviously, this is the old Bugatti here. If you don't already have it, it is no longer purchasable in the game you can't get it but if you do already have it well check your money up here because you're going to be getting an extra 200,000 just for having the old bugatti and obviously if you already have it you get to keep it now the new bugatti all right is right here where the old one was it's the bugatti sharona this is it right here looking good and you might notice there's a big difference between the two in that there's actually interiors inside this car so it's 500,000 i'm gonna go ahead and buy it here we go purchase uh sharon for 500,000 one-time purchase go ahead and buy that and um you can see it looks and works a little bit different because you can actually see inside of the vehicle like there i am now first off this car is much faster than the uh, the old bugatti i'll do a speed test on that there'll be a video coming out probably tomorrow speed testing the old bugatti versus the new bugatti so make sure you're subscribed for that and let me go ahead and upgrade this bad boy there we go but as you can see it is a little bit faster this may be the new fastest vehicle in the game we'll have to figure that out but anyway whenever you're driving this bad boy you can press c to actually go inside of the car and drive in first person. You can see my hands moving, you can see all that, and everything works. Now, the passengers cannot go first person, but the person uh, driving can. And as you can see, everything works. You can do your, your speed boost, you can do your rocket fuel, all of that in first person. You can literally even drive in the water. Just press C, go in first person, you can see yourself going through the water in first person. Press C to get back out of it. Very, very nice. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some rocket fuel because I wanna show you guys what this looks like in first person when you're actually using rocket fuel so let's go ahead you can see the ramp right there we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna make sure i hit it boom and here we go guys i'm actually boosting in first person this this is crazy this is this is wonky and then flipping <laughs> this is, flipping is a little weird flipping is a little bit crazy in first person but it works that's the bugatti now according to a c1 bad cc you can't customize the interiors yet that's not quite done but soon you'll be able to actually customize the interior and make it look purple or pink or however you want the car but let's talk about the new weapons so obviously they redid all of the weapons in the game i'm going to show you guys the new upgraded versions of all the weapons and then we'll talk about the new weapons so i'm going to head into the weapon shop here the missile launcher doesn't look too different it's basically the missile launcher nothing really changed with that but if we go on over here the uh the shoddy does look a lot different um not only will it now remember your camera position so if you prefer it like this by pressing v then it'll stay like this or you can go back to how it was before so the game remembers this now but as you can see the weapon looks a lot different i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna grab the ak and the uzi as well here is the here's the ak again looking a lot different looking a lot more powerful as well a lot more uh a lot more oomphy i guess here's the uh uh, the new uh, pistola here as well. You guys can see that. Look, kind of looks like the one out of Doom if you guys have, have played that. Now, obviously, if you look down here in the bottom uh, right, you can see you can press B to customize it. And you can actually buy different skins for all the different weapons. So um, I can buy the tiger skin. I'm going to go and buy that. We can buy the diamond skin. Go ahead and buy this. The uh, the camo, the zebra, the rainbow, the money bag, the candy cane, the scorch. Now, they're pretty expensive. You know, I, I lost a little bit of money there. And that's simply because they want them to uh, to be pretty unique. So there's the shoddy right there. I can put the diamond on. You can see the, the shoddy is now, now all diamondy, And that's really cool. We can put the tiger on there. Looking good. I like it. You can do the same thing with the pistola. So let's go ahead. And uh, I think the pistol skins are actually bugged. They're not working right now. That's a that's a big break. I'm sure they'll fix that. Let me grab the mini Uzi here so we can go ahead diamond on the mini Uzi like that looks epic. And then the tiger right there looking good. Kind of looks a little weird on the back. Scorch here. Scorch also looking pretty cool. I'm a big fan of the uh, of the the camo and the the diamond. These look these look really good. I love these. Now let's talk about where you can get the new weapons. All right. So the first weapon is the alien uh, plasma pistol. And in order to get this, you're going to need to be a cop or you're going to need a key card because you're going to have to get into the alien base. And then where you want to go is right on in here to the top secret research. And back here behind the UFO is the redesigned force field weapon. It looks a little bit different right there. Got the force field. But as well, right here, you can buy the plasma pistol for 50,000 cash. Now I'm going to head into the garage here so we can actually take a look at this since it is nighttime in the game. But right here, we do have the upgraded, uh, upgraded, you know, 
force field weapon. I like it. And then this is the plasma pistol here. Now, just like the other weapons, you can customize it, put diamond on it, make it all diamondy if you want to, or tiger, or rainbow, or camo, however you want to do it. I'm just going to roll with scorch for right now. And well, this bad boy, if you've ever seen Emperor Palpatine, uh, it's a lot like that. As you can see, it's very bright. It's very dangerous, and uh, it does does a little bit of damage. How much damage it does? Well, let's find out. All right, so I went ahead and brought in alt to count creep. We're going to need them again here in a second to get the other weapons, and you'll see in a second. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select the, um, oop, not that. There we go. The, uh, the awesome plasma pistol here. And let's just see how much damage it does. As you can see, it does about half his health, a little bit more in um in just one round. And obviously, it, it reloads pretty fast as well. Now, you can also hit him from pretty far away. Let's actually see how far you can actually hit him from. So, okay, I got to go a little bit closer. Right there, literally from right here, I can actually hit him with the weapon. So, that's pretty crazy. But yeah, very, very cool weapon. It's very shiny. You could probably blind a few people with it if you hit him in the face with it. And uh, it works pretty well. Now, the reason why I need all to count Creek is to get the other weapons. You guys are probably wondering, how do I get the sniper? How do I get the revolver? So, first, I'm going to show you guys where the revolver is. And to get the revolver, you're going to want to head over to the museum. Now, you're going to need a friend in order to get this or you're gonna need to be in a server where the museum is being robbed otherwise you won't be able to get it so i'm gonna go ahead i am going to actually you know what i need to be a criminal for this i just realized i gotta switch teams all right we back let me go ahead and place dynamite i'm gonna come on over here and i am going to place dynamite again but there we go all right so in order to get this uh let me turn off the volume uh of that you're gonna want to go on in here and somewhere in here here it is right here all right we're gonna break the glass actually you don't have to break the glass you just click it there you go there's the revolver i thought you had to break the glass but i guess not i'm then gonna go on and glitch out of here with a fire truck like that and boom there we go we have the revolver now this thing fires six rounds and as you can see the reloading animation is awesome really cool little weapon here obviously you can customize it as well you can make it diamond if you want or you can make it with the scorch or the rainbow or however you guys want it you guys can do that i'm gonna roll with the diamond here very very nice and we'll test how much damage it does here in a second so what we're gonna need to do now is um i need to get a cop so in order to get the sniper rifle you're gonna need a cop so i went ahead and switched my alt account over real quick and i'm gonna pick up my main account here and then where you're gonna want to go is over to the bank that's where you're gonna get the sniper rifle so let me go ahead and head on over to the bank i'm gonna give my main account a key card here because you're gonna need a key card to get the sniper and then what you want to do is go into the bank and as soon as you run inside right here is the sniper you just click it and boom there it is so here's the sniper rifle and uh it's pretty epic you can you know zoom in fire got uh, got a lot of recoil now i am going to be doing a video testing just how far away you can fire with this thing and obviously you can customize it as well make it all diamond but you can actually fire this thing from pretty much across the whole map again i'll do a video showing that off now let's go ahead and do some damage testing i've got a cop right here this is a revolver there it is about 25 health there so uh four shots from a revolver and they're gone now the sniper how the sniper works is whenever you're up close it does about 30 damage you have about 100 damage in total so it'll take about four shots up close to take someone out maybe three now the further away you are the more damage it does all right now what this does is means that if you're up close you want to not use the sniper and if you're far away you want to use the sniper so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna snipe this bad boy from way over here we should be able to see him uh from right about here yeah there he is okay i'm gonna go ahead and snipe him right here boom and that did how much damage did that do let's find out here that did oh my gosh look at my health that's <laughs> that's a lot of damage i wonder if i can no scope him let's see if i can no scope him three two one oh <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now, yes, you can do some pretty crazy things with the sniper. I'm going to put a video up on screen of me jumping off of a plane and parachuting and sniping someone in midair. Check it out. Where's somebody at? I don't see him. Oh, ah! oh he fell off. Right there. Creek press C while ah! driving in command. Oh, it's no! broken. No! <laughs> wait, wait, where's another guy? Where's another guy? Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, where's another guy? Right here. Boom! Boom! Now, one last thing I want to show off with the sniper here is you can actually see unloaded parts of the map when you have the sniper out. As you can see, the textures are just completely unloaded, and that's just how the game works. So don't be alarmed. Your game's not breaking. 
but you can still see players, all right? If there was a player over there, I would still be able to see them. Players will load across the whole map, all right? Like, literally no joke. Now, to show this off, I'm gonna put my, my alt account here right here on top of the water tower, and I'm gonna see if I can snipe him. There he is right there. We can see him. There he is, and whoop! <laughs> I hit him. That did about 80% of my health right there. Look at that. All right, let's finish him off. Here we go, guys. Let's finish him off. Three, two, and boom. Oh, <laughs> we got him. Oh, my gosh. We got him. So, yeah, guys, that's the new Roblox jailbreak update. It's awesome. I have a lot of really awesome videos planned. We're going to be testing the new Bugatti versus the old Bugatti. We're going to be doing a damage test on all the new weapons, figuring out which weapon is the best. We're going to be doing 1v1s with the sniper, some crazy sniper, like, montage stuff, like, just insane stuff. So, make sure you guys are subscribed. You definitely don't want to miss out. Hit that red button underneath the video. We're almost to a million subs, too, so I really appreciate the support. And keep using stuff star code rule creek it allows me to buy literally stacks of robux to give out to you guys so thank you very much for using star code rule creek i appreciate it and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye